Hello, welcome back to a January favourites video that's kind of mixed with a vlog. We're trying something different here, it's a new format, but let me know if you like this, if there's anything I could change, if you'd like to see these monthly, I'm going to call it a day with my favourites, very unique, I know, but I thought I would mix one of my favourite things to do, vlogging, along with a video that I also like to make, like monthly favourites, they're such a fun way to like diarise stuff on the internet. My ones from like 2013 are, are really quite wild. <laughs> Please don't go watch them. <laughs> I'm gonna take you through my skincare favorites, makeup. I've got a recipe to share with you, some kitchen bits, books, fashion. It's like a little bit of everything. So come, oh, I've got an app. Oh, there is an app that is so, so good. It's changed my life. I feel like you guys are gonna find it really handy if you're anything like me and have like 52, thousand photos on your phone. So I'm just going to use my usual skincare favourites and I have some new things to share with you in a moment. I just did that thing where I thought I was recording and I wasn't. What I said was that my routine has pretty much been the same um, since we moved. That was like over two months ago now and also really before we moved. Um, so it's the Kiehl's cleanser that I love, the Josh Rosebrook spray. I actually finished up the Drunk Elephant eye cream as well recently. But in the morning, I've been enjoying these two serums. It's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Intense Reset Concentrate. I use it in the morning and the evening. And also the Allies of Skin Prebiotics and Niacinamide Pore Refining Booster. They look a little something like this. And I basically take two pumps of the Estee Lauder with one pump of the Allies of Skin. I feel like it just makes a really nice, like glow giving, hydrating serum blend that also has the niacinamide in which helps with like irritation and redness it's pore refining it's, it's kind of got everything i want out of a morning serum um, and i love the allies of skin because you get 50 mil like this is this is a chunky boy the essay lauder is 20 mil um, but just some kind of hydrating primer mixed with this is really lovely and i feel like these are a great combination so i've just applied that all over. And then another skincare thing which I've really been enjoying is Allies of Skin as well. I've almost used it completely up. Look at that, there ain't much of this left. It's the Allies of Skin Peptides and Antioxidant Firming Daily Treatment. I mean, yeah, there really, there is not much of this left at all. I sort of stopped using moisturizers in the morning and I would just go in with the Kiehl's SPF, which I still do. I use this and then I go in with the Kiehl's SPF, but it's winter, my skin is dry. And this is just a really lovely moisturizer. It's a, it's a difficult one to explain because it's not rich. It's not like the Glossier, what's that thing called? Priming moisturizer rich. Like it's not buttery like that. And it's not a gel texture either. It's somewhere in the middle. It's like a rich gel cream. It doesn't leave me greasy. It sinks in really beautifully. It provides a really nice base with the Kiehl's SPF. It doesn't pill or come off with the SPF over the top or anything like that. I know it's super pricey. Allies of Skin just is pricey as a brand, but I kind of wanted to try some other things because obviously you guys know I love this so much. The Promise Keeper Blemish Sleeping Facial is so fab. So I wanted to give some other things from the range a go and yeah, I would recommend. I, I really like this. If you've got kind of dehydrated skin like me, I don't know. I think you quite like that. I feel like my skin is pretty good at the moment. I mean, I would personally put it all down to this product, but the things that I have added in in the last like two months or so seem to be working all right for me. Oh, one thing that I would say don't waste your money on is this, the Augustinus Abeda the Cream Cleansing Gel. I was sent this, it's so <laughs> expensive. Um, I've just finished up, it's nice, but I'm really, really excited to be using my Kiehl's Centella Cleanser again and have it back in my life. So this one, I wouldn't spend any pennies on this. The other thing I wanted to mention in here is under the sink, and it's this perfume. It's the Clean Reserve Cell Santal Perfume. I've had this before. I've gone through a whole bottle of it before, I think, and um, it's just lovely. Mm. It's a little bit warmer than what I would normally go for. I love like figgy, citrusy. I really love the citron fig version of this, surprise, surprise. <laughs> but in a way, I feel like this is the wintry version of it, and I really like the smell of it. I know there's no one else to smell it, but it makes me feel really good and put together when I pop it in in the morning. I think this is Jamie Genevieve's favorite perfume as well. She introduced me to it like years ago. She always smells amazing. So yeah, if you're into light, like kind of lighter fragrances, I think this is a nice option. All right, let's go throw some makeup on. Let's have a quick conversation about eyebrows. <laughs> My eyebrows are wild. I keep seeing people on Instagram, they're like zooming into their eyebrows and they've got like two long hairs and they're like, oh God, I can't wait to get my eyebrows done again. And I'm like, guys, look at these. They are so 
so messy. Like I have to groom these every day, even if I'm wearing no makeup and I'm just having a super, super lazy day in order to like look at myself in the mirror, I have to just put a bit of brow sculpt something through them. Um, Cause yeah, they are so messy. And when I find that I'm growing them out like this and they're really long and straggly and I've got like loads of hairs here, loads of hairs underneath, I'm just like losing the shape everywhere. <laughs> Claire, I miss you so much. They just need a really good groom. So I start off by giving them that, like giving them a brush through and already you're like, yeah, that, that feels a bit better. The Refi Brow Sculpt is next level amazing. I absolutely adore this. It is so, so good. It looks a little something like this and it's just got quite a chunky and quite a long spoolie on the edge. A lot of product comes out on this. So what I like to do is just to kind of almost go like that, like I touch it to the brow hairs. There's actually not a lot of product on there at all. And then I go in with my spoolie and just set it into place. The other good thing about this product is actually when you lift off the lid, there is a comb, like a plastic comb on one side and a fluffy fairy comb on the other side. I just don't really like these combs as much as I like my own spoolie. They're, they're handy, they'd be really good in a pinch, but I just prefer my, it's just a classic spoolie, it's like the ones they sell in Mac. So yeah, I put a tiny bit of product in, not too much, and then just brush that through. And it honestly holds them in place all day. It's one of my favorite product finds of last year. It's so good. It's waxy, it's a pomade, it, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> the one thing I would say is I don't like to overwork it. I find like if I start overworking the product, it can start to get a bit thick and like gloopy in my brows. And also if I apply too much product, I'm just like, oh, this is a big, big mistake. Less is more with this product. Last time I looked, it was sold out. But if you can get your hands on it, it's amazing. So that's just kind of the super basic makeup that I've been doing every day. I mean, every day. Three times a week, should we say? <laughs> but even if nothing goes on my face, a little comb of the brows, or even better, the refi brow sculpt through them, like really just gets me through. I'm gonna get dressed. Let's talk fashion. Fashion. Okay, the dressing room. What have I thoroughly been enjoying this month? I have to say, I've been looking at my shoes and just feeling a bit sad. I'm like, oh, I love these Ganny boots. Like, where can I wear? These Ganny boots, I just can't. I said to Mark today, I was like, look at all of these lovely clothes. There's just no reason to wear them, but there have been some things that I've really, really been enjoying. These Totem trousers are just lush. I'll put them on in a minute for you. Just a very simple, sorry, there's some fluff, some fluff on it. I'll defluff them before I put them on. They're just a very simple kind of wide, well, they're not really a wide leg, more like a straight leg trouser, but they're quite, a wide cut um, and yeah I've really been enjoying wearing those over jeans actually I have been wearing my Acne Studios jeans that are in there quite a lot but these are just a tad more comfortable and also they make me feel like really put together I'm like oh, look at me I'm wearing black trousers and then I've also been loving this section of knits here these are all I don't really know what they're called like a polo style neck knit and um, this is one that I picked up vintage from Curate and Rotate this is also from Curate and Rotate. It is cashmere that's made in Scotland. It is so nice. I think I'll wear this one today. I've got a mango one. Love the color of this. Nice little drop sleeve as well. And then this is the Totem one that I picked up from Vessier Collective. It's got like a ribbed texture to it and it's just really oversized and lovely. I think I'm gonna wear this vintage one today with my black trousers, but I really love this finish of knitwear. I don't know what it is. I just think the neck gives a cool kind of vintage feel. I think they look really like darn chic. It's almost like the winter version of the uh, the linen shirts that I just wear all summer long. So yeah, I wanted to give these a shout out. I will pop some links to these and some dupes down below for you. It is such a lovely day. Ooh. That's fun. Definitely ready for a little outside walking bit. Also definitely ready to take my bronzer down my neck. <laughs> let's, all, let's all just ignore that. But this is the top on. I just love it. It is so comfortable. I love the color of it. I love the fit of it. Curate and Rotate did a brilliant job. I will link her Instagram down below for you. It's amazing. And then these, <laughs> these are the trousers with my Ugg slippers. Um, I just really, love the fit of these trousers they were super pricey i have found them 
in the sale actually so i will link that down below for you they're like 50 percent off damn it <laughs> but i couldn't stop thinking about these trousers it's the fit of them the fit of them is just so flattering in my eyes and i absolutely love them so i'll link these down below for you and also some high street dupes there's some brilliant ones from like mango h&m an elasticated waistband pair from arquette but i just love them and i feel a little bit more smart wearing these than i do jeans and you know sometimes you just need that you just need to feel a little bit more fancy oh yeah ready i'm gonna do some work and also i'm gonna share with you an app that i am really quite obsessed with it's all a bit of a mess behind me please ignore at my desk i have a few things that are kind of sneak peek like maybe these could be favorites next month i guess this is like a mini haul interlude Ding -ding -ding. I am obsessed with Harriet West Moreland. Like, oh my word, she does the best manicures on people. Like, lovely kind of squoval nails, really gorgeous French manicures, like simple, stunning, elegant, chic nail art. Like, she is a, what is it? She's a legend, she's an icon, she is the moment. Also, she happens to be like Rosie Huntingdon's nail lady. Like, it's good enough for Rosie. She put some of her nail favourites on her Instagram stories and I bought them all, all in the name of research. You know, it's in the name of research. You know, I'm just, I'm buying them so that you don't have to. Like, I'll try them out and I'll let you know if they're good. But it's the Boredo um, Rose Hand Scrub. This costs an absolute fortune. It is massive though. I do wonder if this would like last a really long time. And then the other things were from the Dior website. I actually got these from the Dior website, not from like Feel Unique, Selfridges or anywhere like that because I could only find this base coat in apricot on their website. Okay. It just looks like a very pretty <laughs> sheer peachy kind of base coat, but I can't wait to give that a go. Um, the nail glow. I'm not sure I've ever used the nail glow. I used the lip glow. They had like a blusher that was part of this range. Um, I think she sometimes does a combination of the two of those on her nails. And I was like, that sounds completely up my street. She really recommends their gel top coat. And then I just threw this in because I like remember it from back in the day, wanting it so much. It's the apricot um, cuticle balmy thing. I've had this at my desk and it has been so lovely. Like I looked down and like, my nails look quite good and I haven't really done anything to them. Ha, huh, I've moisturized my cuticles, <laughs> that's why. But yeah, that was a little mini haul. I will let you know how those bits go. Looking forward to doing that over the weekend, sitting down, having a bit of nail time. Um, but I have to give a shout out to one of you from the At Home With Lily and Anna podcast Facebook group. You recommended this app. It's, it's actually changed my life. It's like you knew this was exactly what I needed. It's called Get Sorted. The icon looks like this. I realize this has so sponsored it's not you don't even have to pay for this app it's free and basically it motivates you to clear out your photos on your phone if you're anything like me i think i had fifty-four thousand photos it was disgusting i had no play i just didn't even know where to start it was really really stressing me out and this breaks it down into like a daily goal and it encourages you to do like 50 or 100 photos a day and just clear through them. There's all of the years. Um, I've, I've done 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015 already, like literally a day because I find it that motivating. I'm just not ready for 2019, which is over 12,000 photos <laughs> that I need to sort through, but it just makes it really easy. It's a bit like what I can imagine Tinder is like. It's like a swipey up, swipe downy type thing. Um, and then it deletes them off of your phone. It's amazing. Um, oh, my total progress is 1.58%. I've spent hours doing this over the last two days. <laughs> I, sat it, I sat there yesterday for about two hours and I've only done 1.58%, but it's better than 0%. I've got it down. It says that I've sorted 7,000. I can't do the maths, but that's more than one, that's more than 1.58%. Anyway, if like me, you've just got a lot of photos on your phone and you don't know where to start and it's really stressing you out, thank you very much on the Facebook group for recommending that because it has been amazing. Right, time, <laughs> time to stop talking to myself. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen from the other angle. I think I was standing on the other side in last week's vlog. Um, the kitchen smells so good at the moment because we bought a crock pot. Like actually the crock pot, crock pot. And um, we had a slow cooker 
back at the old flat, but I broke it because I thought that you could put the pot that was inside the slow cooker on the heat at the beginning to like brown the onions in and stuff and surprise, you couldn't. So it was my bad. I broke it. We didn't replace it back when we were at the flat. It was just a bit big. We sort of didn't have space for it, um, but we treated ourselves to one here. And my dad is such a fan of slow cooking. We call it slow cooking with Steve. We had loads of slow cooking when we lived with my parents and it was just so good. It makes me so hungry for dinner. It's three o'clock and I'm like, when can we crack in to that? We've actually got turkey chili tonight, which off the top of my head wouldn't be something that I would usually go for. I'd be like, just, just a beef chili for me or a veggie chili, but it's so good. It's one of my dad's favorites. He cooks it so well. I'll try and find a recipe online that's really similar or like write down his recipe in the description box down below because it's incredible. I'm so excited, but for lunch, let me show you what we had. I posted this on my Instagram stories and it really, really made me laugh. It's the BBC Good Food Butternut Squash and Sage Macaroni Cheese. Um, one this size lasts about four days in this household. It easily makes four gigantic portions and Mark and I basically just chip away at it for like a couple of dinners. We have it with like peas, roasted broccoli, some greenery, or I just have it for lunch. For lunch today, I just had a couple of scoops of this heated up. It was delicious. I know that really doesn't look much. <laughs> just holding up the scraps, but it's such a good thing to have in the fridge. Once you've cooked it, it's just quick and easy to eat again. So I love this. And no, it is not slugs. You guys and the slugs are obsessed. We haven't had any slugs for quite a while now. Actually, I can show you what Mark has done and it's, it's kept the slugs out. It's sage, guys, it's sage. <laughs> the DMs were cracking me up. Let me show you. A few of you asked what DIY Mark did to stop the nightly slug parade because they'd normally be just like chilling along the floorboards here or like up here. They'd be like, hey, <laughs> how y'all doing? <laughs> he just got some expanding foam. I know it's kind of ugly and like a bit gross and we could definitely like cut it back, um, but just some expanding foam into these bits. Like this is our outside wall, it goes to our garden. It's worked a treat, they haven't come in since. And then these are the doors that go out to our patio. They were coming through this as well. It's definitely more of a temporary fix, but we just shoved loads of kitchen roll down there. Um, again, not like really what we want to do. It's definitely more of a temporary fix. Eventually we will redo these doors. Mark put a bit of sealant on this little bit here as well. Um, so a bit of sealant, a bit of kitchen roll, a bit of expanding foam, like definitely not ideal, but this is all part of the kitchen that we will eventually redo, like hopefully in 12 months time. In here, I wanted to show you something though, because these plates, <gasps> These plates, guys, oh my God, I love them so much. We've just ordered the pasta bowls and also the mini plates and also the bowls to go with it. But it is the Denby and John Lewis collaboration. It's called Quartz Rose. It's absolutely stunning. Like these plates are heavy. They are heavy, heavy plates. Denby is made in the UK. It's sourced with like local clay. Um, everyone keeps telling me I need to go to the Denby outlet. That sounds like a great day trip, <laughs> but you buy them in packs of four and you basically get one of every color. And I just like that it's very tonal. It's kind of pinky, but not too pink. Very earthy colors. I'll link them down below for you because they've been out of stock for the longest time. They're finally back in stock. They're pricey. But everyone keeps telling me that like Denby stuff is stuff that you like have for years. It's that well made. And we've never had dinnerware like that before. So had to give a shout out to these. I know I'm veering a bit off the path here, but just to show you dinner tonight, because I'm oh, just, <laughs> just so excited. We've got guacamole, we've got rice, we've got sour cream, we've got some limes, we've got like a shed load of cheese, tortillas. Hello. <laughs> and then, <laughs> look at this turkey chili. I feel like this is going to feed us for approximately two weeks. Um, it smells so good. Right, load me up. Oh, it's getting steamy in here. Ooh. It's time for bed. We've just done film club. It was my pick. I picked Julie and Julia. Um, it was actually very polarizing. You wouldn't think that necessarily. I gave it a 7.5, but it wasn't some other people's favorites, but that's okay. That's the whole point a film club you know we, we watch various different things we take it in turns i look forward to next week's pick but it was nice it was like a nice uplifting nora efron classic but before we go to bed a few things to mention 
TV wise, The Serpent is absolutely unreal. It's one of the best things that I've watched on TV in like the last six months. It was so good. It's based on a real life story. It's crime. It's a guy who basically poisons backpackers. So it's quite a grim subject matter, but the whole story behind it is really, really fascinating. It's done amazingly. Jenna Coleman's outfits are absolutely insane because it's set in the 70s. Um, I just really enjoyed it, although I will say, if you don't like being sick, because they're poisoning people, people are sick every single episode and it's really quite graphic. I personally hate people being sick, so there was a lot of like sticking my fingers in my ears and looking away, but I would persist because it is so good as a series, obviously aside from that. RuPaul's Drag Race UK is back, RuPaul's Drag Race US is back. It's just a brilliant moment for everyone. And also I've read some really good books this month. Um, I'm gonna mention all of them here on Mark's coming in to say hi. Hello. I know this looks really weird, but I'm just finishing off this vlog. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just filming myself in bed. <laughs> Check out our OnlyFans account. <laughs> I'm on my fourth book of the year at the time of recording this video and all the books I've read so far have been amazing. I read The Guest List, that is sort of a murder mystery type book, that was really really good. I read A Ladder to the Sky by John Boyne, that was amazing, a really difficult one to categorise actually. Sort of the story of a con man, shall we say, I kind of don't want to give too much away about that one but it was really really good. Then I read When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole, really enjoyed that as well, it sort of had that thriller element to it but it was also a look at the gentrification in New York and it sort of ends up being this dystopian sort of edge to it, again I don't want to give too much away but it was really good. And then I'm currently reading, I think it's called Small Great Things by Jodie Pickpickot. This one's been on my list for a while, but it's quite long. And so I put it off last year. Um, I'm reading it so far, a really, really hard read, but a really interesting read as well. Like I'm not finding this the easiest one with some of the chapters. Some of the chapters are from the perspective of a white supremacist. Like obviously that is a really tough thing to read and it's what happens when a couple who are white supremacists say they don't want a black midwife to operate on or touch their newborn son. It just delves into a really important message. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying that one as well. But I think that's everything I wanted to mention. Actually, bonus mention, because I'm sure this video isn't long enough already, my electric blanket. Oh, so many of you asked for the link to the one that I've got. It's basically just like a fluffy grey blanket. I had it downstairs when we were watching the film. It's amazing. I will link it down below for you and it's basically a, well, it's a portable blanket but you need to plug it in. You could always put it in bed if you wanted, but I personally just have it downstairs where it's the chilliest. I plug it in and I turn it up to six and I sit there and I sweat when I watch the TV and it is absolutely lush. So I will link that down in the description box for you along with everything else that I've mentioned. You can probably hear Mark like weeing in the background. <laughs> so it's probably time to sign off. I hope you enjoyed this format video. Let me know what you think, if it can be improved, if there's anything you'd like added, removed, anything like that. We are all ears and I will see you soon with a brand new video. I'm thinking of doing kitchen tour slash baking in the kitchen video. It might not be my next video, but that should be coming up in February. Anything else you wanna see in February, let me know. Right, now it is actually time for bed. See you soon. <laughs>